Have you seen Mr. Beast's latest video? I'm talking about the one where he spent seven whole days in solitary confinement without any human interaction. And we're gonna talk about it right now from a licensed therapist perspective. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keandra Jackson. I am a licensed marriage and family therapist. And if you're new here, hey! But if you are a returning subscriber, you already know how my videos go. And thank you so much for being here. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know that I just got turned on to Mr. Beast and all of the shenanigans that he creates on his channel. While there's some people who love him and some people who hate him, I have enjoyed a lot of his videos, especially the ones where he's doing philanthropy work and humanitarian work and helping build wells in Africa and literally helping people see and hear and even the ones where he's doing crazy stuff with all of his friends blowing up stuff, I'm here for those. But what got me a little bit, well, a lot of bit concerned was his last few videos that literally raised a little bit of a red flag for me as a licensed therapist. Now, if you haven't seen it, go on over to his video, watch it, it's about 20 minutes long, check it out, and then come back and chat with me in the comments to let me know what you think. Now, when I watched this video, I thought it was gonna be entertaining, I thought that he was gonna have some type of human interaction, and then when I start to sit down and watch Mr. Beast get put into solitary confinement, I'm talking about the ones where people literally have the stray jackets and it's like a cotton, I call it the cotton room, like a padded room so they won't hurt themselves and they're in there alone without any type of devices, anything that can be used to harm themselves. They're basically in there alone. Mr. Beast voluntarily went and did this just for the sake of his YouTube channel. Now it seems interesting and fun and all of those things, but after you have gone a long time without any type of human interaction, the brain does some things. And while I was excited that they did have a psychiatrist on staff and on video and was giving us some behind the scene information on what happens on certain days when you're in that type of environment without any type of human interaction, I'm glad they did that because that was helpful and I believe that that was the smartest thing for him and his team to do. Now, even though they had a psychiatrist on staff on standby, obviously this was so detrimental. This could have went a different way. These stunts are really pushing the envelope when it comes to mental health. I would never voluntarily, whether it's for YouTube, for real life, for an experiment, or any other reason, intentionally subject myself to something of this nature. Now, if you wanna do it for a few hours or even a day, go at it, but seven days without any type of human interaction, that man didn't see anybody, he didn't hear anybody's voice, he didn't have anything to do to entertain himself, he didn't have a phone call so he can talk to people, he couldn't video chat with other people, he couldn't do any of those things, they literally gave him his food through this little weird conveyor belt so they wouldn't have any interaction. And the whole point was to see what he was going to do. The whole point was to see if he was actually going to go crazy. The whole point was to see what this would feel like at the end of these seven days. I don't believe in playing with your mental health. He's pushing the envelope because I watched another video previous to this where he literally buried himself alive for seven days as well. This man was literally in a coffin, y'all, laying straight for seven whole days. That alone is psychotic, okay? But in that experiment, he did have walkie-talkies to communicate back and forth. He did have video chat and cameras and things to keep himself busy. But even that teetered the line on his physical health. I could be wrong. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but I have heard that Mr. Beast does have his own medical issues. So to put yourself in a coffin for seven days, literally buried alive with dirt on top of the coffin, he couldn't get out if he wanted to. And to subject yourself to that type of physical um, abuse at that point, and to know that you have underlying medical issues is, that's a little scary. And then to put yourself in solitary confinement, and messing with your mental health, that's also a little bit concerning. Now I get it, he's the biggest YouTuber, he has making the most money, he has so many subscribers, and of course he has to up the ante every single time to make his videos more engaging, more subscribers, more bra bra bra. My question to you and my question to Mr. Beast is, where's the line? Or is there a line? Because if we really think about it, and I'm not trying to be morbid here, but if we think about how this could have gone south, 
if we think about him being buried alive for seven days and he has underlying health conditions and he got up out of that coffin, he could have had blood clots because he didn't stand up and get all of the blood circulating like he was supposed to. He could have basically died. And he did also on that one have a medic on staff as well. So I want to acknowledge that too. But also the same thing could have been true for this solitary confinement. He could have came out of that room not being sane. He could have came out of that room having severe mental illness and psychosis. Why would we even play with those two things? Because if those things were to happen, Mr. Beast, as we know it, would cease to exist. So now we have to really weigh the options. Are we trying to jeopardize our mental and our physical health for the sake of getting money and subscribers and views? Or is our health and our livelihood more important. I just hope and pray that Mr. Beast and his team decides to be a little bit more smarter and cautious with the stunts and the things that they create moving forward. Till next time, thank you so much for watching another video on my channel. Make sure to stick around and watch some other videos. Stay connected, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!